yourself you came back or you came to this video welcome back to another jennifer's corner video so this video is like spur of the moment because um i like just not out of the shower but i was just wanted to record because recently i was reflecting on how i feel about myself or how i felt about myself over the years and i had to stop in the middle of it and kind of thank myself and tell myself that i'm proud of myself because i feel like it's been a journey and it still is um when it comes to loving me you know i feel like there's so many like factors that go into loving yourself and like accepting you for who you are accepting your body for the way it is and stuff like that and like that could be you know whether you get the attention from the person that you you know you kind of like um celebrity social media and then that has a that on its own has this effect on all of us whether we want to admit it or not um and I feel like all the factors that go into loving yourself can be overwhelming at times but I'm learning to get back to my core and to calm myself down once I start to feel like I'm overwhelmed with my appearance because I was thinking like when I was a kid that was like my main concern wasn't my looks it was playing games or playing my PlayStation or like playing double dutch and drawing on the sidewalk with chalk and stuff and like watching people play scully and playing basketball with crates and stuff like that watching a movie over and over and memorizing the lines like those are things i cared about but i feel like as i got older it was um just like everybody else it, it changes to being obsessed over the way that you look and i'm just i'm happy that i'm at a place now where i can kind of reel myself back in and know that i shouldn't care too much about what other people think about me and my body and stuff like that it, it makes no sense to put so much pressure on yourself about the way that you look um to fit somebody else's standards of beauty like beauty should be to your standard you know like if i feel comfortable with the way that i look and i'm healthy that should be enough like i shouldn't be trying to achieve what you think is beautiful you know especially nowadays social media especially instagram and stuff like that they kind of push this lifestyle down your throat like you're supposed to look a certain way you're supposed to have a certain amount of money to be happy you know and that's not happiness for everybody like i don't want to have to fixate over having the smallest waist and the biggest butt and the biggest breasts to feel like oh, okay once i get this stuff i'm happy because i've never been that type of person like <sighs> happiness to me is a whole different realm of things you know and i don't want to be fixated on body image you know because regardless somebody's going to judge you anyway and I've had I've had moments where um like I questioned my beauty and things like that. And that could be a whole different video. But I remember I was thinking about specifically one time, um, sometime last year. I had to go to an event and the night before I planned everything. I had my outfit picked out, um, my hair was pretty much done, and all I had to do was like do my makeup and put the clothes on and stuff like that so all that stuff happened and I got ready and when I saw my sister I was just like I gotta go change you know and that might seem like something small but I think that day is the first time I actually had like a I guess anxiety attack I don't I don't want to like I don't I don't want to call it certain names because I'm not sure exactly what that would consist of but that day I've never had a day before then where I completely broke down about what I looked like you know and naturally as a woman or just, just as a person in general you're going to compare yourself to somebody else so imagine just being that but then being a twin on top of that that's that can be kind of hard because i always look at my sister like she's like the bomb everything like i look at her like she's the most beautiful person because in my in my eyes she's nobody's looking better like nobody's better than my sister you know but um and i hate that i get like that because i don't want her to feel like um, she has to kind of dial back in order to make me feel good because that's, that's not fair to her, you know So I was just thinking about that time when that happened and I, I ended up not going like I cried so much that day I was obsessed over What I looked like and I was I couldn't believe like how bad it hit me I was in my closet crying. I put on like seven different things in between that time that I had my first outfit on and then It just did it just did not work I had that that day was was really rough my boyfriend tried to console me but he's never seen me like break down so bad about um my looks you know he doesn't like when i he doesn't let me get to that point where i'm just down talking myself like he'll snatch me out of a mirror before i start getting to that point and he'll just tell me i'm beautiful like like i have good people around me and stuff like that but that day i was just like 
I can't deal with it, you know, but I'm just glad I got past that. Um, I had to, I have little mechanisms and little things that I tell myself now when I feel like that's happening again. Um, it's hard to, um, to look at yourself and then, like question if you even measure up, you know, but I feel like I've been getting better. That's why I was able to tell myself that I'm proud of myself because I haven't had like those type of episodes in a long time. Um, it's, be it's becoming easier to love myself now and that's not, I think that's why I feel so bad when I think about um, kids nowadays because I could imagine if I feel like this or I, if I felt like this even still now I could imagine the pressure that's on young teens and kids nowadays with this type of um, social media happening now because when I was a kid we didn't really have we didn't have Instagram when I was a kid that we had yeah we had like MySpace but like it wasn't it wasn't like Instagram <laughs> so we need to all get to a point where we just love ourselves accept the bodies that we have take care of the bodies that we have now because there's no point in comparing yourself because you're not gonna look like that in the next person you just it's just not gonna happen there's always gonna be a difference between you and the next person and if we all walked around here looking like the same the same body type we will look we'll legit look like robots like it would be such a boring world so just love yourself you know and realize that you are enough you don't have to be you don't have to have the biggest butt. You don't have to have the biggest boobs. You don't have to have the thickest legs. You don't have to have the skinniest legs. You don't have to have the, the, the thinnest arms, the most muscular arms. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to have the fullest lips. You don't have to have, like, all those things that you would, that you look at somebody else and feel like that's the only standard of beauty. Like, no, you're just as beautiful, you know? And I guess that's all I wanted to say. So, thanks for watching this video. If you guys want to keep in contact with me, in between uploads, you guys can follow me on my social media accounts. I'll link that all below. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.